transparency in governance, reduce burden on finances and also help fight corruption and the role of black money in elections. But critics argue that this is not just a logistical nightmare for security forces, it's also an advantage for national parties at both the centre and the respective states. Remember, the Prime Minister has on many occasions called for a one-nation, one-election proposal and today the Modi government appears to be walking the talk. वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन सिर्फ एक चर्चा का विषय नहीं है बल्कि यह भारत की जरूरत है हर कुछ महीने में भारत में कहीं ना कहीं बड़े चुनाव हो रहे होते हैं इससे विकास के कार्यों पर जो प्रभाव पड़ता है उसे आप सब भली भांति जानते हैं ऐसे में वन नेशन वन इलेक्शन पर गहन अध्ययन और मंथन आवश्यक है और इसमें पीठासीन अधिकारी काफी मार्गदर्शन कर सकते हैं गाइड कर सकते हैं लीड कर सकते हैं इसके साथ ही लोकसभा हो विधानसभा हो या पंचायत चुनाव हो इनके लिए एक ही वोटर लिस्ट काम में आए इसके लिए हमें सबसे पहले रास्ता बनाना होगा before we get into the politics, we must note that even the Election Commission has welcomed this suggestion in the past as well, calling it a viable option that could negate many logistical issues in holding those aspects involved of separate elections. The Law Commission has countered criticism on this proposal in the past, asserting that this in no way affects India's democratic setup. Even political parties who are now in the India Alliance have backed the One Nation, One Election proposal, citing the possibility to curtail election expenditure and reducing the burden of election machinery. However, today, many of these same parties are of a different view. They're calling the move unconstitutional and undemocratic. One Nation, One Election. If it happens in the U.P. election, look, this was the only India meet that was called to be distracted. And if you remember, the last time the meeting was held, it was held in a different meeting. This is One Nation, One Election. It is only to be given. And if it happens in One Election, in the whole country, then who will be more happy with us? What will they do in the U.P.? If they do the U.P. with the U.P., then what will they do with the U.P.? One nation, one election, pretty fair election. While I can judge Baramari up and part of the EVM at a Nakar type. One nation, one election. Well, looks of a borrow to me, university chip and election. Hena Rata, get any jar. You're watching the news hour at 10. Debate number one on Times Now. Super prime time. And for more of this, let's go right across to our guest. Joining us, we have with us Shazi Alvi, national spokesperson of the BJP, Tushar Gupta, senior editor of Swarajya. Our Raj Gopalan is a senior journalist joining us on the panel. We also have with us Tehseen Purawala, political analyst joining us also on the broadcast is Gansham Tiwari, national spokesperson of the Samajwadi Party. A. Sarwaran is national spokesperson of the DMK. And Ravula Sridhar Reddy is senior leader of the BRS. Let me start first and foremost with you, Tehseen Purawala. Uh, the government is saying at this point of time, and uh, you know what we have understood is that A, it would end the cycle of continuous perpetual elections. And no one less than the Law Commission has recommended this in 2018. The Law Commission has specifically said that this can be brought in to end this perpetual cycle of elections. So is that not a desirable motive? No, it's not a desirable motive. For one, this takes away from the federal structure of the country simply because uh, state issues will get underlined and undermined. It will all become about central issues. But my larger worry about that is that's a political argument. And I and that's another issue. My larger worry is, and I see this as a pattern in the Bharti Janta Party. Now, the Times Now ETG poll very clearly showed that the Bharti Janta Party is not going to win Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, Telangana. These four states that are going to uh, pose and Mizoram. But these four states in particular, it's not going to win. And therefore, my worry is to try and postpone elections of these four states to go along with Lok Sabha elections because these elections were to, held it, to be held in December so that you retain power. Suppose that the Bharatiya Janata Party for some reason does not win 2024, which the ETG polls uh, predict that they will win this, uh, the Lok Sabha polls. Will there even be a peaceful transfer of power? Look, the BJP has a pattern of holding on to power. 2017 in Karnataka, the way it lost, the way it bribed people and broke the government, Maharashtra recently, or you look at other state governments, it seems very, very worrying that this is a government that is not ready to give up even one inch of power. But Tessin, to the best of my understanding, 
understanding there's a flip side to that. There will be certain opposition states such as Karnataka which haven't crossed the 2.5 year threshold which will also get their assemblies extended. If there are some assemblies which are being curtailed, there are also some that are going to get extended. It works both ways, doesn't it? No, it, uh, it, it, it's, it's wrong. It's not how democracy should function because one political party wants to retain power completely. Therefore, it wants to win these other states and come into power because these eight or nine states are going to power along with the three states or four states that the BJP is uh, losing. But there's a larger picture that I need to address and I want to come to. Let's understand that these state elections are held with the union elections. What are the issues? The regional parties will not be able to raise regional issues that they want to put up because obviously it will be about one man considering the kind of media coverage they get. Everything is moving towards a system where it's one party, one man, one domination. Now the media may for, go ahead and call it... No, but see, so in today's day and age, there is regional media which is more powerful than national media. The regional media will highlight the state's issues. I don't think that's an argument that really makes sense. But I'm you going to go across to Shazi Almi because really Shazi Almi, the argument of Tehsi in Poonawala is that there is some kind of attempt since these next five elections. The BJP perceives itself to be weak and therefore it's trying to push these elections further closer to the Lok Sabha election. That's the charge he's making. Please respond to that. So first of all, this is not a new idea. This has been in motion for a while. This has even been a part of BJP's manifesto in 2014. Uh, in 1983, the Election Commission actually made a recommendation that it should be taken up. In 2003, it is Atal Vihari Vajpayee who uh, actually had a meeting with Sonia Gandhi on this issue. Not just that, later it was L.K. Advani ji who actually met Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and uh, Pranab Mukherjee and discussed the whole issue. So this has been in the motion, in the making, in the churn for a while now. 1952, 1957, 1962, 1967. What was happening? It was elections were being hold, uh, held the same way, simultaneously. Of course, it all started with Jawaharlal Nehru. Uh, pulling the punch and uh, pulling the plug rather of the Nambudri paths in Kerala and that's how this whole business of uh, uh, Article 376, uh, 356 being used uh, to dismiss assembly started. And then of course we've had the long history of uh, Article 356 being misused not once, not twice, but 50 times by Indira Gandhi thereby dissolving this assembly right. and uh, this has gone on. Now we've reached a situation where there is an election or a mega election happening, it is around the corner, uh, whether it's policy announcements, developmental work or the mandate of every MLA and MP from mm -hmm. every party, mm -hmm. which is a constitutional mandate, which is to do, which is to do public service, okay. which is to implement schemes. It's not being done because around the corner there is one election or the other where there's a paraphernalia, uh, uh, not just the parties or individuals, but the state. Do you know the kind of money that is used yes, year I got after that year point. in this allocation? Yeah, not I got that point. Let me, let, me, let me bring it. Let me bring in the DMK. Let me bring in the DMK because you made so a very important whole... point. You made an important point of the first 20 yeah. years. And the first 20 years, Mr. Sarvanan, Shazi Almi says that was there no democracy then? There were simultaneous elections for 20 years. And, you know, will we call that an absence of democracy? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, this is an irrational scheme. It is illogical. It is foolish now to bring this one nation, one election. If this happened uh, in the 1950s, that is because we were a uh, very nascent democracy. All the There was only probably one party, but now it is a multi-party democracy. And this is a hairbrain scheme. Whoever is thinking that this is going to be a very beneficial country is not so. It is anti-national. See, this strikes at the very root of our constitution and the parliamentary form of democracy. If this is, you know, a presidential form in the union and a governorship in the states, yes, we can do that. Fix a term. Yes, but we don't have a fixed term. We are buying, uh, running by a majority. If there is uh, not a majority, what will happen? Sir, so there are a lot of ifs and buts. So why the BJP is bringing this now at the fag end of their tenure? This is only to hoodwink the people of this country. They have not delivered on their promise. There are huge scams staring at them. They want to avoid talking about the scams. Other, uh, mother, they don't want us to discuss about the Adani scam, the biggest scam the country had seen. The only achievement of the BJP in the last 10 years is to make Adani the second richest man in the whole world. 
Apart from the, what have they done for the common man? At the last, the last fag end of their tenure, they're saying, yes, I, oh, okay, I, I, we are I giving you 200 rupees. Okay, of, okay. Of the LPG You're system. diverting from the scans. Why once again, once that? again, Sarvanan. Shazi, yes, let me wow, respond to that. The charge coming from opposition, we've been debating this issue yesterday also, and they are saying this, that this is an attempt at diverging, diverting the entire agenda, because there was a lot of heat that the government is facing on the entire Adani issue. This is a primary charge coming in from several opposition parties. I want to, I want to ask, I would I like to ask this gentleman, I mean, he is part of the DMK, right? What Sarpanen. stops him from asking Mamta Banerjee and Ashok Gehlot and Pinaray and Pinaray, Sarvananji? What, what stops you from going to Pinaray Vijayan? What stops you from going to Mamta Banerjee? What stops you from going to Ashok Gehlot to stop the Adani projects? If you have such a problem with him becoming a second richest man and you think it's because of BJP, surely these three are not part of the BJP or are you confused about where they are? Have you heard of Mamta Banerjee? She's the chief minister of West Bengal. Have you heard of Tajpur? Tajpur is a deep <laughs> sea port in Midnapur. Where is Midnapur? Not on the moon. Do you know that? You don't know that. We know where Kerala is. Do you know who's the CM of yeah. Kerala? Have you heard of Rajasthan? Who's the CM of Rajasthan? Ashok Gehlot. Okay. You know there is a big Adani project going on in Rajasthan? Mm -hmm. What stops you? Why are you so scared? Yeah, you were you screaming answer. and uh, shouting just now. I really want you okay. to scream and shout at all these three of them. Okay. At all these three of okay. these three of them. Okay, the shoe fits both ways. The shoe fits both ways, ways. Sarvanan. Respond I to Shazia. I defy you. Don't yeah. laugh. Don't yeah. laugh. Mother, can I answer? Okay, one second. Yeah, yeah. One second. One yeah. second. Mother, one second. Yeah. give me, give me ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. There is, yes, Madhav, there is not even a single answer how this scam was perpetuated. Why no investigation? Every Tom, Dick and Harry is picked up by the Enforcement Directorate. If he's a political opponent, he's picked up by the Enforcement Directorate. Look Here, the you. Uh, Director of Revenue Intelligence has written against Mr. Scream, Adani. Scream, scream. Why no you investigation? That is what Banerjee. the question is. And yes, today, what Mamta has happened? Banerjee. Mr. Cash Ajit Pawar, who has joined Cash the BJP washing Cash machine, has been let off from a major scam. Why is this? Why is this? And what moral authority? the BJP Mamta has Banerjee, to speak about Pinaray corruption. Vision, okay. uh, what, Mamta what, Banerjee, what Mr. Pinaray Modi has been talking Ashok about? Gehlot. Two things. Banerjee, Mr. Pinaray Modi Pinaray is Ashok not Gehlot. able to Banerjee, talk about. Mr. Let me come in now. Let me come in now. Let me come in now. Shazia and Sarvan, let me come in now because, you know, we are, corruption is certainly a very important issue. It has to be discussed. But I want to stick to the important points of how this one nation, one poll affects our federal structure. And please allow me to come back to that debate. Let me bring in Mr. Raj Gopal. I'm going to allow. One second, please. I'm going to I'm going to otherwise have to lower both your feeders. Let me bring in Mr. Raj Gopalan now. Mr. Raj Gopalan, the clear charge coming in is that this undermines the legislative competence of states, that at some level or the other, it violates the basic structure of our constitution and also the federal structure. Can you hear me, Mr. Raj Gopal? These are the questions that are coming in from opposition. Violation of the federal structure, violating uh, the legislative competence, uh, co competence, I beg your pardon, of assemblies. These are some of the questions that are being raised by opposition parties. How do you respond to that? Mr. Raj Gopal? No, I'm not hearing properly, but whatever question I heard, I would like to tell you the Joint Parliamentary Committee headed by E.M. Sudarshan Nachi Appani in 2014 recommended One Nation, One Poll Mother. Apart from that, there were a number of committees. Dinesh Goswami in V.P. Singh's regime who was law minister at that time, he also proposed one nation, one poll. So therefore, for the last 30 years, this has been on. And why should other political parties now object to that? It is uh, going to give you, you know, foreign direct investment if you have a stability in the government. And it is also going to give foreign recognition if you have a stability in the government. Once in five years, if elections are held, it's a well and it's also a healthy democracy. Every third month you have an election. And moreover, Jairam Ramesh, the Congress leader went to Supreme Court to contest the model code of conduct because model code of conduct is coming in the way of developmental issues. And as a minister of uh, UPA government, he approached the Supreme Court as a government uh, approach. So what did you do with that? So you have contradiction. Opposition is rattled. Opposition is unable to come to the power. Today, ADMK has supported one nation, one poll. Therefore, it is a tricklish issue the regional parties have to come up to the you know expectations of the national level. Right. It is my understanding, Madhav, today the timing of announcement of Ramnath Goin Commission 
is certainly to rattle the opposition, a bull in the China shop, a bull which China Rahul Gandhi always likes, a bull has been set in India, dot, 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 doubt alliance. Okay, okay, okay. Let me take that across to Ganchap Tewari. Ganchap Tewari, Mr. Nachiapan, Dinesh Goswami, these are not members of the BJP. Neither, neither have they been in power or submitted their reports today in, in this regime. These are all things that have happened many years ago. And if these are reforms that have been desired and found by several opposition leaders, doesn't the opposition then become, you know, merely a political point scoring? Because even your own party, the Samajwadi party, at the end of the day, supported One Nation, One Poll before the Law Commission in 2018. What's changed? Just that Lok Sabha elections are around the corner? Now, even in Sudarshan Chapman you. Committee, even yeah. in Sudarshan Chapman Committee, they support that. Yes, even yes. I mentioned that. Yes, let him, let, let him come in now. Yeah, let, let him come in now. Good job. Good, good evening, Mother, to you, my fellow uh, panelists, as well as the viewers. Three things are important. One is this is a this is a huge rumor created by the government in the face of of what the massive defeat they face in states and upcoming elections and in the strength of India Alliance. I'll tell small you why. Small clarification, sir. Small Prime clarification. Minister, it's no longer rumor because there's a committee where Mr. Kovind is going I'm to chair to and he's the that. former I'm president I'm of the country. Now, now that, that is out, so it's no I'm, longer a rumor. I'm, I'm coming to that. I'm coming to that. The reason I say this as a rumor is that no one in this panel, this is a national channel, no one in this panel knows, even a veteran journalist like Mr. Rajiv Kupalan doesn't know, or a senior leader like Shazi Adam doesn't know, what is a single ABC of the agenda of special session? I can say, if, if one has to speculate, that this is not going to be on the agenda. If it is not going to be an agenda, and that I can say why I am saying that. The, allow me, allow me to complete. Allow me to complete. Please, I did not interrupt. I did not interrupt. Yes. Please allow me okay, to okay, Please complete, allow complete. Me make your point. This committee, this so-called committee, does not have a name. No one knows who its members are. The last tweet by the Prime Minister on this matter was in June 2019, when after a meeting that Rajnath Singh Ji held, post that 2018 Law Commission that you cite, that the government said they will, they will create a, co a committee to discuss this. That committee was not created. Even in this recent parliament session, on July 27, this government said that a roadmap would be planned and proposed. So they don't have anything, anything in terms of details, anything in terms of committee, even the name of the committee. So why are they bringing it right now? Because they they are a rumor spreading society. They, they want to sensationalize and take away the one nation, one businessman scam that is unfolding across the country and across the globe. They want to take away the fact that that is unfolding with respect to China. They want to take away the, the real issues that people are facing. This so government saying, is, has the infamy. So you're saying you're committed to one court. nation, one this, election, but only because of these issues you're opposing it now. Am I right? I'm not, I'm not even saying, I'm not even coming to merit of it. I'm saying that no, answer my question. In 2018, why did you support saying, it? That's the question I asked you. I, I, can, I can answer that, but I'm saying at this point in time, the government has floated a rumor, is what my, my primary point is. As far as the merit of, the, of this is, is concerned, when the plan, see, there's something as, as large as this has to be put out as an execution plan. And then you say that that merit is there's merit or not. Mm -hmm. The execution plan would require single voter list that that will run from panchayat to the federal level. It will requ require curtailing or extending of assemblies. It will require a proper debate in the parliament, which this government has not used to. In fact, this okay. government has the infamy of the least number of sittings of 17th Lok Sabha ever. Okay. And they, they beat Dushar, their own record from. We don't have Lok details. Sabha. We don't have the provisions. The fine print is not there, and therefore Ganshyam Tiwari believes that this is merely a rumor. I'm going to get back to him, though, on the question that I first asked him, but quickly respond to that charge. You are asking me, Mother? No, no that's why no, the I'm, I'm, that's opposition a, Tushar is Gupta. so rattled. They're rattled about a rumor. Yeah, go ahead, Tushar. This is for me? Yes, Tushar, go ahead. Yeah, so, Madhav, two, three, two, three things. Firstly, nothing becomes anti-national because just someone says so. Nothing goes against the federal structure because someone says so. It doesn't work that way. The real world is very different. You already have four states which are Arunachal Pradesh, Arandhra Pradesh, uh, Sikkim and Odisha that vote with the Lok Sabha. Now is Tehseen saying that there is no democracy there or the federal structure cannot be implemented there? That's all hogwash. The DMK and the Samajwadi spokesperson are saying that this is a trick to divert attention from the Adani issue. I can guarantee you now, Madhav, that both these spokespersons don't even understand the share stock breakdown of the Adani enterprises and they're claiming a scam here. Number three, when Tehseen started his argument by saying that you're going to postpone elections in five states, that you want to latch on to power, that has been the BJP trick. Remember, BJP is in Madhya Pradesh, but it's Congress in Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan. 
And if this idea has to work somehow, the BJP will have to go for early elections in Haryana and Maharashtra as well. So this has nothing to do with the power. Number four, an argument was made that this will wipe out the regional parties. I think we all can safely agree that in 2019 it was a Narendra Modi wave. And yet in the four states that went to elections concurrently with the Lok Sabha elections, the BJP could not win any state alone. In Telangana, it was a, in, in uh, Andhra Pradesh, it was a regional party that won. In Sikkim, it was a regional party that won. In Odisha, it was a regional party that won. So this argument about regional parties getting wiped out is also hogwash. Mm -hmm. Number five. The DMK spokesperson sounds concerned that the Tamil Nadu government, state government will be, you know, their tenure will be cut short. It won't work like that. When we say one nation, one poll, at best, we are looking at 11 to 13 states going to polls with the Lok Sabha elections, which are five states that are due in 2023 20, December. Four states that would have other, anyway gone to elections with the Lok Sabha elections and the two states of Haryana and Maharashtra. So we are looking at 11 states and possibly, possibly Delhi and Jharkhand. Now tell me how does this impact the federal structure? The okay. governor can very well have the elections after 100 days. The NDA is well within its right to call for the dissolution of the government in states where it governs. So how is it about latching on to power? How is it anti-national? How is it about Adani? How does it impact the federal structure? I'm not saying that this session in the parliament is going to be about one nation, one poll. But at least when we are discussing it, we can show some intellectual honesty. That's okay. all I request for. All right. Rahul or Sridhar Reddy, I want you to comment on this now because there are several points that have been raised over there by Tushar. But I want to bring in, of course, your party then called the TRS also backed one nation, one poll. Why are you opposing it today? At the end of the day, there is one very serious concern that what amount that was spent by India on the 2019 Lok Sabha polls is about $8 billion. And that is more than the United States spent on their election. See, one thing is very clear, whatever BJP brings in for the discussion, definitely it will be for the political mileage or against in, you know, elections for their party, there is no doubt about it. People are clear about it now. Number two, BRS feels at this point in time, it is practically not possible because there will be many corrections that need to be done, either constitutionally and in many other aspects. Number three, and this is exactly what they want before these five state elections now. They know BJP's growth is declining. They know the Modi's imaging also is fast declining. So they wanted the narrative to be changed now. Now look for the last two days from yesterday afternoon, we all have started discussing about the, you know, yesterday we have speculated. Today they formed a committee with Ramnath Govind, Ramnath Govindji as the chairman. And tomorrow we will be speculating who will be the members. The judges will be there. IAS officers will be there. Who will be the part of that? Then the terms of reference. See, they have shifted the narrative to the one nation, one election thing. Now everybody will start discussing about these things other than the failures of the Modi government. Even you think the, they've been successful in doing that? Do you actually yeah, feel yeah. they've been successful in doing that? I, I, didn't, I didn't get you. Are you actually saying that the government has been successful in changing the narrative? They, they are trying to do that. They will be successful or not. You will be seeing only in the election results after, you know, in these five states. But that, that's not going to you know, give them complete benefit. But, you know, that is how they try to now. Mm -hmm. So now, th this is what actually they try to. End of the day, end of the day, fine, whether they could change the governments or not. But there are much larger issues to be addressed in the nation at this point in time. And they will put this for discussion. Now, look, they will make, see, we wanted to bring in a large reform in the country. Okay. Like, you know, many other things. Now, uh, SP will say, no, somebody has, you know, all the, they will try to show the opposition parties who will oppose this particular uh, you know, proposal as well as to the country. Look, we wanted to bring in a change. We wanted to save the cost. Okay. See, in such a country... It's an attempt to pay the opposition parties back. Mr. Rajgopal, you wanted to come in on that. Do you want to respond to this charge of Reddy? Mr. Reddy? Yes, 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 certainly, certainly. Mr. Reddy has articulated a point very well, and I do agree. Of course, it is uh, directive, uh, you know, by the government. That is why Mr. Ramnath Govind has taken up the charge. My understanding, Madhav, it is purely a political one. When regional parties who can come together in Mumbai, they come and say, in 2024, we don't want one person. This election is not about the prime minister. We don't want Narendra Modi. That, you know, clarity they have. Mm -hmm. To demolish that, no, government no, has put this no, bull no, in no, the no, Chinese no. shop. This, this so therefore, our, therefore... Our chief minister, Mr. M.K. Stalin, our leader, Mr. M.K. Stalin, has clarified that. In today's meeting, he has clarified that. 
This is not against Mr. Modi. This is against the ideology, the ideology of the RSS. Mother, mother, Mr. Modi is just me? the face of that hmm. ideology. No, but mother, has it, mother, no, but has it said the cat amongst the pigeons? Mr. Sadhguru, because Mr. Reddy was saying, Mr. Reddy was saying, to some extent, the narrative has shifted. Has that, has that, has that narrative changing happened? Because one more question, Mr. Sadhguru, that comes to mind. I'm going to Tessin also on that in a bit. But Mr. Sadhguru, the question then is this: that has at some level or the other the India meeting, which was supposed yes. to announce a logo and several other things, only a coordination committee no, was announced, but there were several other India agenda items. None of show. that has happened. No. They've said that they're going to do this later. So has the government been successful in perhaps putting the India meeting or no, you know or see. changing the agenda of the India meeting? Sarvan? See, uh, Madhav, the India meeting today is a smash success. That is the reason why the BJP flop. government is scared. Mr. Modi is scared. Mr. Flop. Amit Shah is scared. That is the reason flop. Flop. all this is happening. It is a major See, flop. The, the wonderful coordination, the flop. excellent chemistry among all the leaders is really making the BJP terrified hmm. of the election results. <laughs> Some of us pointed out, Mr. Tezin Vula, they want to be in power in perpetuity, which is not going Madhav, to happen. Madhav, it's Madhav, going to be a Madhav, dream. Madhav, they Madhav, run Madhav, for Madhav, 10 years. Madhav, it's okay. going to come Madhav, to an end in 2024. Okay, many people want to respond to you. Madhav, many people want to respond to you. Starting with Rajgopal, Madhav, Madhav, and then I go across to Rajgopal. Time and again, time and again, in Tamil papers, in Tamil televisions, Mr. M. K. Stalin has been saying in Tamil, Yar Therefore, it is anti-Modi platform. Narendra Modi did a trick on them, Amma definitely. DMK is but but uh, there are some portions of this debate i think many of you who are not able to understand okay 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 let me let me come in now let me come in genuine let me come in now i want shazia to respond i want shazia to respond as well as tehsin purawala tehsin has this impacted on the india plans because somewhere or the other the agenda seems to have shifted the meeting and what it had planned for the outcomes don't seem to be matching it no, no, not at all, but three very quick points. Point number one, Tushar is absolutely right that the BJP will curtail its its tenure in Haryana and Maharashtra. He's absolutely right. Except that Tushar is wrong, and I hoped he would have extended an intellectual argument to himself. Is the Times now ETG polls show that in the state elections of Haryana and Maharashtra, BJP is getting wiped out. So the BJP only tends to gain. They're not winning Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Chhattisgarh, but they'll also win. They want to win Haryana and Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, which Times now is showing that they're losing. Point number two, Madhav, to your point, you said, look, elections as the yes, cost yes, affair. I, I agree, I agree. I agree. Rajgopalanji, two minutes, two minutes. No, no, no. One second, one second, one second. Let him make his point. Let Tessin make his point. Tessin. Rajgopalanji, two minutes. Second thing, Madhav, to your point, you said elections are a cost affair. Look at how much India is spending. I have a better solution. Why even have elections once in five years? Have once in 20 years. You'll save even more money. Is is money a cost for democracy? Point number three. I want your viewers to visualize, and I'll end my point here. EVMs which are non-transparent, Aadhaar linked to voter card, and now one nation, one poll. Okay. Think about if we are a democracy. Just think about this. Why is it every EVM mistake, and I'm fighting EVMs in the court, I'm fighting it. Why is every EVM mistake never a vote for any other party but BJP? Think about it. Why EVMs non-transparent? Why did the German Supreme Court strike down EVM? Why no, did the Election there. Commission there's not allow... There's a difference there. No, I, think, there. I think, the EVM, debate, I think the EVM debate is very it's different from this debate. election it's debate. Please, let's say, let's today. We know, we know how many high courts and how many Supreme Court judgments there are, Tessin? I don't want to, for heaven's sake, make this a debate around EVMs. Let's stick to one nation, one election. I want Shazia to quickly respond to the other charges. Shazia, Tessin says that democracy at any cost, cost be damned, democracy is the most important thing. Why are we even looking at the cost? Please respond to him. Why did DMK walk out? First of all, Madhav, I find it very shocking that Tessin Punawala is mocking the victory of Karnataka in such a terrible manner and mocking no, the victory Karnataka of Congress Party in Himachal because EVMs. questioning EVM would mean questioning their victory as well. One, and it's shocking, it's shocking that what happened after what has happened in Punjab, yes. where Ahmadbi Party won most decisively and also where by a little hair's breadth, 
in um, in Himachal and Karnatak that those victories would be undermined by hmm. somebody who belongs to the side of INDA. No, it is yeah. sad that you do not you do justice to your own party and your own cadres by mocking and insulting the own victory. One. And let me finish. No, let me finish. Let me finish. No, and second and most importantly, I just heard somebody. No, no, I heard what you said talking about EVMs and the transparency. No, no, no. No, absolutely. I heard, I heard what you said. I heard what you said. No. I heard. I heard what you said. Okay, one second, one second. God. Yeah, yeah. No, one second. Let, let, can you, can you, can you please, can you please have some water? We have very little time left. Very little time left. I want to go across to other panelists also. One second, one second. Let me just bring in Ganchab. One second. Tessin, Tessin and Shazia, just a second, please. I want to just bring in Ganchab. Ganchab, the question that I asked you still remains unanswered. Why is SP changed his position? Yeah. Yeah. One second, one second. Please, we can't have everyone speaking at the same time. Tushar, I'm coming to you and Shazia, please. Let Ganchab answer the question I've asked him. Ganchab, why has SP changed his position? Can you please give us a clear answer without any what about it? And giving a clear answer, we made a representation to law commission. Any time the government comes up with a formal proposal, we will represent ourselves, and it will be a logical position that we will take. Okay. It is not not a dogmatic position that we will take, but we will not respond to rumors that are there to change narrative. Okay. Only when a formal proposal a comes, so in theory you are still okay. And they so are, in theory you are still okay by one nation, one election. Why is the BRS is changes a... position, Mr. Reddy? Why is the BRS changes position on one nation, one poll? No, there is no question of changing the position because there was no discussion put straight, right? In you the supported past. it in theory, sir. You supported it in theory in the law commission. No, no, no. Yes, the PRS was there. It's amongst the parties that supported it no, in the 2018 there, proceedings. They, 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 actually, the premise that the okay. union government today, you know, showing this as an immediate thing, the cost and you know, a time and all of that. That I support Tesin Punawal on this. Cost should not be the criteria or premise for this kind of an election. So why did you why did you change your position? At least know the standard. Why did you change your position from 2018? Let 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 the let the entire let the you know terms of reference of this particular company comes out. Let them. So in theory you are still supporting it. In theory you are still in support. On 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 face of it we oppose this because there is a different motive to this. And cost should not be the criteria when you go for protection of the democracy. What happened when Vajpayee ji lost the government? Immediately, the nation has to go for election. The same Vajpayee ji, Shaja Inveji was, you know, quoting that, you know, we tried to consult then also. Why did you go for an election? Okay. Then, okay. So, it, it's, you know, it, it is like, you know... Okay, no, no clear answers coming, but just the fact that the motive is not right this time around. I want Tushar to quickly respond right. to that. Tushar. We will oppose this on face of it. But when it comes for the discussion, let's Tushar, deliberate. Madhav, it's, it's been a little over 24 hours since people have started discussing One Nation, One Poll. Just a little over 24 hours. Have you heard any Alliance member of the NDA being rattled about it? See, Nobody one state, one election, Nobody even if 10 rattled. states are going I to polls with the Lok Sabha polls, DVD. it's equally you a risk for the BJP as well. Okay. It doesn't give BJP yeah, any advantage. Opinion. It's not like in 2019, BJP swept all the four states Madhav, where the status Madhav, every elections were going on. Madhav, quiet! Quiet! I did not interrupt you. Please be quiet. One second, Mr. Reddy, Mr. Reddy. The problem yeah, one second, one second. is... The... One second, Mr. Reddy, you have made your point. Mr. Reddy, quiet, you do not understand anything. Quiet, Mr. Reddy. Mr. Reddy, quiet. You do not understand anything. Let me educate you. Madhav, if the nation goes to one nation, one poll, it's an equal risk for the BJP, perhaps more, because they're coming after 10 years of anti-incumbency. Yet, if it happens, it doesn't give the BJP any advantage. In fact, in fact, if you have to look at it politically, given the alliance strength, which is claimed by the India Alliance, they should be happy about this idea. And yet, every single member of this new alliance, of this fabricated alliance, has been rattled in the last 24 second, hours yeah. just by the mere speculation. Yeah, coming to you, sir. Please listen poll. to the response, Why and so? then we come to you. You asked a question. He'll listen to the response. He is, he is responding to what you said. What do you mean that you know we don't understand? Madhav, just one this simple question. This is his point. This is what the panelists are saying. You can respond to him. One second. One second. You can respond, to him. You can respond to him. Let him complete his point. You can respond to him. Tushar, quickly conclude your point, please. I'm please stop. Class. Let's not hate each other. One Mr. simple Mr. question. Mr. Reddy, you can question. respond to him. I'm telling you. Please let him make his point, though. Somebody Mr. Reddy, stop interrupting. Learn how to debate on the national television. Won't get into personal, Mr. Tushar Gupta. Yeah, Tushar, let's not get personal. Let's I agree with him. Let's not get personal. No stick to the point. Who are you? Let's stick to the debate. You're, you're cut across. You say, I, I don't understand. What are you? 
Madhav, let's not have a side debate, please, gentlemen. Let's not get a personal debate, please. Let's let's not let's not waste time over this, please. I request both of you. Let's calm down and let's let's allow let's allow the debate to take place, please. Tushar, make your point quickly. Twenty seconds. I am representing a political party. Madhav, one simple question. The opposition claims that their alliance represents India. It represents the regional parties. It represents the national parties. Yet, since 24 hours, all the opposition members of this new alliance have been rattled by the mere speculation okay. of okay. one nation, one poll. If indeed they are confident about their numbers, if indeed they are confident no. about the regional presence, oh, they no. should welcome this move. Why okay. are they opposing it? Okay. They are opposing it because it disturbs their seat sharing. Arena. All right, all that right, all right. I want the BRS, no. I want the BRS spokesperson to come in now. Yeah, Mr. Reddy, now you can no. respond to Tushar Gupta. Go ahead. This is what actually they try to build. That's what I'm trying to do. Who will get rattled by this? We are, we are political parties, very strong in our own states, running the government Mr. for the past 10 years. And these business. kind of people say that we are rattled, Mr. expressing Reddy, our, own, our opinions, expressing the opinions, opinions, saying our party stand is getting rattled or what? What are you You say that, I know, I don't get to know. You have nothing to say. What are you? Who are you? Do you realize... Sir, it's a political debate. Don't personal, Mr. Please don't take it to heart. Please don't take it to heart. It's a figure of speech. Maybe Mr. somebody Reddy, lost their cool. Let's calm down. Figure. Let's you calm down. Respond to the issue at hand. Because Mr. Reddy, till now, till now you have not answered my simple question. My simple question, as an anchor, I'm asking you, is that why has your stand changed? There is no clear answer coming from you on that. There was no proper discussion, okay, when it comes in the parliament, when the discussion comes in a wider consultation, we will, you know, become, when we understand things properly, when, when more discussion happens... What is the law commission, sir? It's not a constitutional body, according clearly, to you. We oppose this because the motive of the... Bharat sir, the law government commission government of India is not a constitutional body, as per you? It is for the political mileage and their own gains in the upcoming elections. They wanted entire narrative to be shifted. Okay. Multiple. Multiple hands going up. Multiple hands going up. Quick response from Shazia Almi. Yes, Shazia. That makes it... So, Madhav, look at the presumption of all of these folks who seemed at one point of time absolutely jubilant about the new found alliance, mm -hmm. the new partnerships and the new teams they have formed. And at the same time, they are so unsure of themselves that they presume that this would be advantage BGP. Okay. That goes on to say that something is really amiss. In fact, they give away, they give away the faults and the, 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 the face and the, uh, they put up the brave face of uh, making this coalition by presuming that this one nation, one election would be the death knell of the of our regional parties. Okay. Uh, therefore, conceding that really don't have anything to say to their own constituencies. Right. I'll have to leave it there. I'll have to leave it there because, because we're the completely out of time. Shazia Elmi, Tushar yeah, Gupta, R. Raj Gopal and Ravula Sridhar Reddy as well as Tehseen Puravala, A. Sarvanan and Ghanjab Diwari. I'd like to thank all of you for joining us on debate number one today.